WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we got markets off to a slightly negative start to start off the trading day. Dow Jones right now negative by just three points, trading at 25,536. We have the S&Ps flat at 2825, and the NASDAQ negative by 18 points, about a quarter percent, trading at 7557. Russell flat as well at 1506. We'll start things off this morning. Check Checking out the VIX, so been quite a two days in the market. Uh, biggest two days we've had to the upside in the market since January. Currently, you had the VIX hit 1536 pre-market, 1632 right now as we look at the volatility index. Let's jump over to the futures markets, check out where we are. We'll start it off with the Dow. So we trade higher a bit overnight. We reach highs in the Dow of about 25,640 up there. We're now almost about 100 points off of that level. We were up there as of almost 8 a.m., currently trading 25,550. S&P 500 trading at 28.27. We're about 10 points higher for most of the pre-market session. NASDAQ 100 pulling back a bit as well. We're up there at 72.60. NASDAQ 100 trading at 72.18. Crude oil with some volatility with a 51 handle. Reached a low this morning at 9.30 of about 51.45. Currently trading 51.78. There's your gold contract, trading at about 1340. We were up there at 1342 briefly this morning. And Euro US dollar. We have the ECB. You have a press conference going on with Draghi. Uh, that may have completed at this point, but that was going on. And there's a little bit of volatility in the Euro US dollar, getting a spike higher, a little bit of Euro strength, a little bit of dollar weakness. Euro trading 112.60. In terms of what else you have happening across the market fundamentally, U.S. trade deficit falling in April just before that increase in tensions with China. So trade deficit, U.S. global trade deficit falling to $50.8 billion in April, pretty much in line with expectations. The shortfall with China increased $2.1 billion to $29.4 billion. On that tariff front, President Trump talking about the tariffs on China could be raised by another $300 billion if necessary. And Google purchasing Looker for $2.6 billion in the cloud. Uh, and Google pulling back a bit on that, down about 6 tenths percent. Stay tuned, folks. Come back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Fast Market at 11 with TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim, Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. Have a great Thursday, everybody.